I don't know what to go for. I guess C. No, I can't be C. I guess D. I guess D. I'm gonna think D is. Hello and welcome back guys to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher from England makes a fool out of himself by answering Japanese university entrance exams. So today we're going to be looking at Gakushuin University. Um, <clears throat> it's a short one today, only five questions and just like um, most of the other questions we've done, all we have to do is pick out the errors and correct them. So. Question number one. The Nobel Prize winner, accompanied by her husband and children, are staying in Stockholm until after the ceremony. <laughs> Choose one underlined word or phrase from A to D that must be changed to make each sentence 1 to 5 correct. Yes. But the, the number one is all correct and there's no all correct option. The Nobel Prize winner, accompanied by her husband and children, are staying in Stockholm until after the ceremony. Um, that's all correct. But there's no all correct option. I don't know what to go for. I guess C? No, it can't be C. I guess D. I guess D. I'm gonna think D is the one that you just remove, you take it out. I don't know. Okay. Question number two. Off to a great start today. The result for Dr. Seuss's challenge to write a children's book with only 50 words was Green Eggs and Ham, which went on to sell over 200 million copies. Uh, okay. Yeah, the incorrect one is A. It should be the result of Dr. Seuss's challenge to write, etc, etc. Of. Number three. In the southwestern US, much of which is arid, is becoming drier as weather patterns shift. In the southwestern US, much of which is arid, is becoming drier as weather patterns shift. Okay, this doesn't make sense, but how can we change this to make sense? The southwestern US, much of which is out. Okay. A. You take away in. Um, you don't need in here. You just say the southwestern US, much of which is arid, is becoming drier as weather patterns shift. Um, Question number four. There are growing concerns across Asia that authoritarian regimes and even some democratic governments are exploited the reaction to fake news to further restrict freedom of expression. Uh, okay, I think... I know which one is incorrect, I don't know how to change it. C is incorrect. Um, regimes and even some democratic governments are exploited the reaction exploited the reaction doesn't make sense um, you could say some democratic governments are exploiting the reaction to fake news to further restrict freedom of expression yeah that makes sense um, so wrong ten
Okay, and final question, question number five. Despite the overwhelming evidence in support, climate experts repeated... Okay, let's try this again. Despite the overwhelming evidence in support, climate experts repeated warnings their predictions have been largely ignored. The answer is B. Um, they are missing a preposition. They are missing of. It should be. Despite the overwhelming evidence in support of climate experts' repeated warnings, their predictions have been largely ignored. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching, and should see you next week. Goodbye. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.